Lord. Thank you for planting me in your garden of fertile soil, through the baptism. Now I have everything I need, to grow into a large, and budding tree that bears good fruit. May my life be rooted in you, and blessed with the dew of your graces. Help me to draw strength from your treasure, every day, so that the words of Jeremiah 17.8 will apply to me. He is like a tree planted by water, that sends out its roots by the stream, and does not fear when heat comes, for its leaves remain green, and is not anxious in the year of drought, for it does not cease to bear fruit. I look forward to this blessing, and reflect on what the Apostle Paul says in Colossians 2 6 7. As therefore you received Christ Jesus the Lord, so leave in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith, just as you were taught, abounding in thanksgiving. Help me to remember this, every moment of my life, as you gradually take root in me. Let me cultivate an attitude of gratitude for your grace, which comes from the gift of baptism, and the fullness of your promise in Colossians 2.10. You have come to fullness of life in him, who is the head of all rule and authority. May I abide always in the dominion of your kingdom, my king. May I breathe in your breath of life, Lord. May I stretch my branches to soar in the wind of your breath. Let me move as you want and dance in the wind you offer so I do not grow weary of trials. Thank you, Lord, for all the challenges of life that make me flexible in thinking, acting, and growing. I humbly ask you to fulfill in me these words from Ephesians 3, 17 to 19. That Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may have power to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth and to know the love of christ which surpasses knowledge that you may be filled with all the fullness of god let me be aware every day that i am your child and that i am dependent on you father let me not be powerless but take advantage of the opportunities that you, my dear Father, give me as your child. Let me accept your school of education for all eternity. In Proverbs 3.18, King Solomon said, She is a tree of life to those who lay hold of her. Those who hold her fast are called happy. Lord, teach me your wisdom to keep my path safe and calm. Protect me from the illusion of apparent happiness that this world offers. Beloved Jesus, grant that I may not waver and mourn my pain, but see the power and salvation you have given me on the cross, the tree of life. Grant that I may share it with you for many who seek the right path. Just as a tree does not wonder how it will survive, so help me not be alarmed by the strong wind of trials that suddenly shake me. Let me not reject my current drought. I trust and believe that you are stronger and more loving than anything I'm going through. In Ephesians 3 20, 21, I read, Now to him, who by the power at work within us is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think. To him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. And in Book of Wisdom 15.3 I contemplate. May I glorify you, Jesus, for to know thee is complete righteousness 
and to know thy power is the root of immortality. Thank you God, because when you take root in me, I can progress even by millimeters of growth in you. Amen.